Hello everybody, this is Arthur from Vector eBike and today I decided to make a vlog episode because it was a long time ago we did one so we get a lot of questions from you and it's really good because now I have uh, some ideas to talk about with you uh, Recently I have uploaded to our YouTube channel some videos with uh, my ride in uh, German Alps on the Vortex e-bike and um, I received a few questions that I'd like to answer here in this video because it would make more sense explaining them than uh, trying to give some details in numbers about uh, those questions if it makes sense at all. Um, so the first question was about the climb video and uh, it was a question how long was that climb? Uh, according to the Strava it was about uh, 8 900, uh, 900 meter elevation. Um, it was uh, it is a ski uh, resort and in winter uh, people skiing in this hill. Uh, so it's yeah, it's pretty steep. You can see it uh, from from the video. Maybe it's not that clear because, as you know, GoPro use a very wide angle, and it's hard to understand from the video the angle of the slope. Uh, probably would be better idea to capture it from the side on a normal um, camera, but it would not be possible to capture all the. Uh, all the ride um, from start to finish uh, it seems like you get some uh, temperature rise at the end right that was correct at the very end I um, had the feeling that power was less because of the controller uh, was pretty warm already and um, I should say bef uh, before I started that uh, ride, I probably should make one more because to be honest, uh, when I started this ride, I didn't check the battery voltage and the battery voltage was already like 65-70%, uh, which is already not good, but it's not a big deal. Uh, the big deal was that um, at that day it was a very good weather and there were a lot of cars on a parking slot next to the lake so uh, I decided to left a car on the nearest village which is around 200 meters uh, below the uh, level of the lake and me my wife uh, we also took um, backpacks so I took one backpack in front of me she put another backpack on her back and we um, rode like 200 meters together so total weight with the bags and all the stuff was over 150 kilos and we climbed 150 meters uh, 200 meters which can be easily um, even more uh, we climbed on the bike uh, through the forest uh, from parking lot to this lake and then uh, at the place where you see the video starting I stop she um, hike around the lake and I immediately started this video so I think that was my mistake to to do it before a ride but anyway I received this feeling of um, less power let to say so only at the end so yeah uh, I bet if I start driving the bike by myself I probably would reach um, the top level of the mountain uh, without any overheating problem so yeah I, I, I hope this question answered and I guess I will make one more video where of course I will not preheat the components um, yeah, the, mo the motor was barely warm, so the problem was a controller that was closed inside, but again, uh, I pretty much warmed up before I actually start a ride. 
Um, what kind of gearing from the motor to rear chain ring? Uh, we have a um, couple um, setups for clients who like to ride in a very steep hills and they don't need uh, high speed, ma high maximum speed. Of course, we have a bigger rear uh, sprocket. And um, if you l ride mostly on the flat terrain, then we have a smaller rear um, chain ring, so you, you can have a higher top speed. I use a, a middle option in between of the maximum torque and maximum speed. Uh, so I can ride easily any uphill with two uh, person on the bike. Uh, probably if I if I ride alone, I can use only the uh, maximum speed sprocket. That would be more than enough. But again, as I ride not really fast uh, in the uh, woods in uh, Alps and sometimes not alone it makes sense for me to have a average size sprocket uh, yeah maybe even like the the slowest but with maximum torque but the temperature of the motor was no never an issue um, <laughs> what else uh, some people asking me about the waterproofness of this frame and I, I tested it many times I washed it with uh, Kerher as like car wash jet uh, machine I don't know what what's the proper name for it but it, I, I think you know what I'm talking about and there was no any problem with um, <clears throat> water getting inside of course I didn't point it exactly on the place where the cables goes off um, so yeah, always use your head before you do something. Uh, <clears throat> I've got a lot of questions also about comparing Vortex bike with a Sunrun bike. And what I can say, it's two different bikes. They in different league. They have different power, they have different battery, and uh, they have different motor and so on. So um, the Sunrun is a good bike for its money. If you are not tall person or if you are your light person in terms of weight, I would say this is a good bike if you are under 75 meter 75 centimeter and under 75 kilograms, then it will be okay for you. Maybe not okay, but still you can ride it. If you are like meter 80, meter 90, and you're like 85, 90 kilograms, this bike is definitely small for you, and I would not recommend it. Um, for a person with this uh, weight and the, the, that tall. Uh, the, the bikes are different. The Sunrun bike has like half or even like third of capacity of our bike battery. So you can imagine the distance would be also like three times shorter, uh, the travel distance. The power as well, like almost two times different. I don't know exactly what's the peak power of the Sunrun, but I guess if it's like 6 kilowatt, then yeah, al almost uh, we have almost 10. Yeah, so you can imagine the power difference. And um, yeah, overall the weight difference is not that big. The Sunrun weighed around like 51, 52, I believe. And this is with a bicycle fork at the front. So if you have a Sunron or if you want to order Sunron with a motorcycle fork on the front, it will be the same weight as our bike. So it won't be any difference in terms of weight. Also, our bike has bigger frames and the bigger person would feel more comfortable. And as I told you, uh, I ride very often, not alone. So I have uh, my wife behind me and we ride as a couple on one bike, no problem at all. Uh, that's what uh, that was about the Vortex bike. Um, 
I hope I answered those questions. Uh, if you have any other questions about the bike, please leave them in the comment to this video. I will try to answer them in the next vlog. And uh, I think I will make one more vlog tomorrow about other topic, not about uh, Vortex bike. But thanks for watching and uh, have a nice day. Bye.